So now that you've got your master made, let's do a page. Now, if you don't have a master made, go back and watch the other video I made about this. Okay? So here we go. I've got a home page. I'm going to double click to open it up. There we go. And because it's attached to the master, I got the basic stuff on there. So let's add a few things. Let's put an image on. There's lots of ways to put images on. So let's start with just selecting one and, and putting it on. Now I have one, some images on my desktop, so I'll jump over there. And let's see, here we go. Uh, my desktop, desktop, desktop. And I've got this really big blue car, so I'm gonna click that. And then I'm just gonna drag it right here. And I'll give, wait a second, and you'll see that the blue little icon shows up. And I can just drag out as big as I want it, or as small as I want it. I can just, you know, adjust it. There we go. There's my image. That easy. That's one way to put it in. I'm going to delete this. I'm like, oh crap, I just put it in. No, no, I'm going to delete it. Let's preview it first. Preview. Here we go. Boom, lovely. Notice the big space. We'll talk about that later. Back in design. All right, so I'm going to delete this. There's another way to put it in. Grab a rectangle and drag out how big you would like your rectangle to be. Okay. Then remember under the orange fill, click, add an image. I'm going to get the, where's my blue car? It's on the desktop. I'll go get that blue. Don't you like that blue car? Because I do. That's why I picked it. Open. And because it was the original size, all we're looking at is the sky. So that's not going to work. Let's try some of the other things. How about scale to fill? Perfect. You could try scale to fit. It's a little bit smaller. I personally prefer the fill. That's my choice. You could also tile it, which is your original retile, tile horizontally. All these things don't really work when you're using the full, the, the big size like that because it's going to try and title, tile the entire thing. So I'm just going to go scale to fill. Awesome. We're done. That part's done. So if I need to add some text, I'll grab my text tool. And let's add a little text over here. We'll drag out some a box for some text. And uh, let's see. I'll put a little text in there. Oh, I used the wrong tool. Woo. Use the text tool, not the rectangle. Okay. Let's drag this out. We'll drag out a, a text box. We dragged out a text box. And I'm going to put in there, this is a cool blue car. And then I'll go grab uh, some uh, Ipsum Lorem. If you don't, I use filler text all the time. Um, so I just go Ipsum. And then, whoops, look, there it is, fact generator, hipster. By the way, the best is Samuel L. Jackson, because it's hilarious. But I'm just going to grab, um, I'll just grab a couple sentences here. I'm not even going to create some. I'm just going to copy that. And I'll come back over here, and I'll paste. There's some Ipsum Lorem, and now I can style it. Now, you can create styles for this. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything and use the font that I've been using, which is the one I downloaded because I like it. And I'm going to um, create some line height. See how this is 120? This is a little hard to read. It's a little tight. So I'm going to make it um, 150 is like one and a half space. I'm going to make it like 180. There you go. It's a little easier to read with white space in between there. If you think it's too much, you can always click it till it gets smaller. Do you get where you want to go? I'm going the wrong direction again. And you'll see it gets a little tighter. I'll, I'll put it at 170. A little easier to read. Okay. All this is a paragraph in here. So if we, you know, to SEO it, we don't have to do anything. Come over here to the menu, go paragraph styles. We can um, create a style. Right here is paragraph. We can add one. We have none right now. So let's create a new one, paragraph style. Once we click it, it says paragraph style. We'll just call it subhead. Subhead one. All right. I probably don't want a capital in there. Subhead one. 
Let's change it to an H2. There we go. All this setting is in here. That's awesome. So that'll stay. We'll just um, we'll go ahead and click it. Now, if I, I'm going to make a change because I don't really want that to be 14. I really want that to be 24. So what I can do, notice the plus sign means I change it. So I can um, go ahead and redefine by clicking that little icon down there. See this little icon? You click that, it gets rid of the plus sign. So that part's done. That looks really good. Let's take a look in the preview. Awesome. See all that big space in there? We'll talk about that in a minute. I know I keep like telling you we'll talk about that. So let's add, let's add a slideshow. So here's the widgets, and there's a shit ton of stuff in the widgets. So let's go down to slideshows. And I'm just going to do a basic, so I'm going to click it in here. And it's opened up. I'm going to want to make it bigger. I mean, quite honestly, that's too small. Push it down a little bit. Let's push it down, push it down. And I want it, there you go. There's the edit handles. So I'm going to grab that and drag it out. Let's make it bigger. I just made my image bigger. And I can slide it around so we can move things in and out of there. And we can make this part bigger. So when we do this, we're going to have to move some stuff around. Don't be surprised. Here we go. We want to make this bigger. And see how we got the little... There we go. Let's make it about... Uh, I'm going to make it most of the way. Let's just go all the way. What the hell, right? There we go. Now I just have to move this stuff underneath it. Drag them over. There we go. So we got... Yeah. Okay, drag that over. If I hold my shift key, it keeps in a straight line. So I can bring this over to here. Right on the edge. I'll grab my count and do the same thing. Drag that over. And put them right, let them butt up to next to other. And then this, I'll do the same thing. Drag it over. There you go. And there's my, I can, um, I can change this. I can change the style of it. It's just text, so I can make it bigger if I want. So let's make it a little bit bigger. 18 would be nice. And so we're set up, ready to go. No, notice that this actually works when you click it. So we've got it currently at 1. If I click 2, 3. Well, I need to add some images. So let's click the little blue thing, and let's add some images. So add images. And I'm going to go grab some. I have some Arizona pictures because that's where I am. I'm going to grab uh, Cactus and the Fire Cloud and Sedona. And uh, open. And it will, give it a second, it will populate that frame. Again, we can change how it fills. It can either fill proportionally um, fill the frame or fill the content proportionally. The content, when you hit content proportionally, it changes. Fill the frame, they change. So, you know, pick your poison. There's this. This is Sedona in the snow. So I'll change this to Sedona in the snow. Okay. I'll click the, let's get the next one over there. We just click the, okay, this is the um, fire cloud. Fire cloud. And then we'll go back to the first one. And this is Choya. Chola, if you don't know how to pronounce it. Choya cactus. All right. So let's take a look. Now, instead of instead of clicking preview here, I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to go preview page in browser. And there you go. You can see what we've got. We've got a nice automatic. And it'll run by itself. It takes about three seconds. It'll start doing itself. Now, we can make some changes in this. So let's click it. I need the clicker. I need the arrow tool. Click it. And we can do a couple changes if you want. Um, we can change the order. We can change the transition. So let's change the transition. We'll change it to uh, vertical. 
and we change it to vertical we have a transition speed we can uncheck this so that uh, it doesn't auto play uh, we enable the swipe because you know what if it's on a phone we can uh, throw in some uh, thumbnails they instantly appear now I don't particularly use the thumbnails but you can drag them into other places but what you can do with the thumbnails is you can click click one and you can change the order so now I change the order I want the Sedona one first so I'm just gonna click it and put it down here come on Sedona put that there so now the Sedona is the first one the fire clouds the second one and the choy is the last one like I said I don't particularly want to use the thumbnails just to show you where they are on click them and when we go back let's go back and preview this in the browser file preview in browser and there you go Sedona in the snow is first and then this is the different transition fire cloud Choya back so that's all it's not running automatically I just have to click it notice there's not a whole lot of space in there um, if you do have a lot of space and you want to get rid of it there is a way to do this so if you pop over to muse and say there's a lot of space between that footer remember I said I keep going back to it click on website get your master if you want to change it if you don't like the space if you go into page properties all you have to do is unclick the sticky footer and that will make it but up against each other then you have to deal with you know a little space below it and that kind of stuff so that's the basic uh, first thing that we did now I have not added a menu to this why don't we do that so let's go back to our first page and I'm gonna have to move everything down a little bit because I'm going to add a menu right underneath where it says my header so I'm gonna shift click everything so I got it all and I'm just gonna drag it down a little bit to give me some space Muse has made menus easy and now I gave it some space in here but where I really need to put is on the master because it's gonna appear on every page so I go back to my master I grab my horizontal and I drop it in there you go I'm gonna butt it right up against there now these are some bad looking colors I want to change this to something else so maybe I'll make it um, green no, that don't work that's horrible how about blue no that doesn't work either how about dark yeah that's that's not too bad I can go with that dark on white that'll work so as soon as I pop now over to my home there we go and notice that this didn't just hit refresh there you go home page and the about page has nothing on it so that's fine but we know it works we know our stuff works so there you go now this is the active remember this is a link so we can go back and change that as well let's jump back to the master and if we've got this selected states okay so if we want to change this we can go over to state so we go to normal so our rollover is gray we, we want gray look okay, no I don't I, I mean it's okay to have gray I imagine I could I could make it um, I could make it this color let's grab our there we go rollover we'll make it that it's not exactly the mouse down we can make it leave it gray and the active let's make the active um, let's make the active some crazy color yellow there we go so now let's go preview and we're gonna refresh oh there it is that horrible yellow and you can't read the uh, can't read the name so we would that would be a terrible choice so we would have to go back get the active state yellow's not good so we'll change it to a different color maybe we'll make it um, a light blue how's that there you go a nice light blue there's also a different trend you know there's also transitions down here we can fade it and that kind of thing I'm not going there I think this is fine so we've changed all the states so let's go home let's preview and then home is blue roll over click roll over see works like a charm 